on Royal Princess, one of the biggest luxury cruise ships in the world. Beautiful. Makes you wonder how the keeper float. <laughs> it's all aboard for the start of a busy summer season cruising the Mediterranean. Unfortunately, the trolley actually fell with other bags into the water. For three and a half thousand passengers, this is unbelievable, this is. It's the trip of a lifetime. You're in a real five-star luxury bubble here, really. Upstairs, a chance to relax and celebrate. David, you're going to kiss your bride. Our policy here is never say no. Fruit tart, chocolate. Let's go. While downstairs, 1,400 staff work round the clock to meet the highest standards. That is unacceptable. $2,000 for a cruise, and that's what we give them. And deal with the daily dramas of life aboard. 911, medical emergency. Just a half a billion euro ship and 25-year-old blonde. What could possibly go wrong? Tonight... Good morning, passenger service desk. It's Nico's last chance to impress the front desk team. You just make me laugh, Nico. Touch up! Stop. Lauren is in charge of docking. Stop! Whip, whip. Be gentle with my lines. That is unacceptable. And things have reached boiling point in the galley. If that's what we come up with, then your position is in question. The Royal Princess is over 300 metres long. There's a ferry coming in just behind us. While ships have become much bigger, the ports they're visiting haven't, making this a huge challenge for the navigation team. About 120 metres to port. There's always one boat that wants to creep out as you're coming in. New bridge officer Lauren is on an intense training programme before she can take the helm. We've got about 30 metres clearance as we come down, so I'm just keeping an eye on her, making sure the bow doesn't close, because that would leave a large dent. Today, she must safely dock the £600 million ship. You can always tell which berth is the cruise ship berth. You find the buses, you find the berth. The mooring lines must hold the 141,000-ton ship in place. OK, we start to pick up. The tension has to be precise, or the lines could snap. Stop. 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 Oh. Be gentle with my lines. All done. The ship may be safely in port, but now thousands of eager passengers are all wanting to get off one gangway at the same time. In this line. This line. And with only five hours in port to explore the local sites, they don't have any time to waste. It is long, but it will move very quickly once the gangway is open, OK? <laughs> so they're basically sitting on the stairs, and that's not the way it works. Emma and Timothy have been called off front desk to help manage the crowds. Let's see how many people I offend this morning. If you're joining the line, it's all the way down here. You have to be very firm with them. They're like little children that want to go outside. They're all very excited and they want to go and do their tours. If you've purchased a shuttle ticket, you're in the right line. Hi, um, in the mini piazza, there is a bottle that um, has been broken. Be careful. Don't slip, just be careful. That's fine. Uh, I smell like Tabasco. It's like baby poo. The back of the line is over here. All right. So it's a wee bit crowded. It may well be heaving with passengers downstairs. But on deck 17, it's always an oasis of calm. They ask only for water. For sure, they will ask for champagne again. This is the sanctuary. Thank you very much. Just put it down on my private table. An exclusive and expensive grown-ups only area. The goal is to gain 20 pounds on a cruise, and we're right on course. Doing the rounds is one of the ship's culinary specialities. 300 afternoon teas are served up daily. For many of the passengers, including elite cruisers Rob and Claire Jupp, this is the highlight of the day. Hello. 
tea time. Oh, good. Cake. Lovely. Fruit tart, chocolate cream, cake, and uh, mocha cream puff. A scone, please, because that's sort of so tarn, is it? It's two of my five a day. That's great. The sanctuary guests have no complaints. That's what we're presenting, rock cakes. Of course they complain. But they elsewhere, the afternoon tea hasn't oh, gone down quite so well. But seriously, you pay $20 for that? I would complain as well. I'd complain bitterly. Executive Chef David is alarmed by a serious slip in standards. Am I wrong? And he's not going to tolerate it. You understand? He summoned the pastry team, headed by Ruel, to his office. I want the scones that high, like I told you, dusted with icing sugar on the top. When I show you this, the tartlet that I made and the tartlet that we give at the moment, do we see a similarity? No. If that's what we come up with, then your position is in uh, question. I'm not going to talk to you again, Ryan. You understand? Leave my office. I know where I stand with the chief pastry and I will push him until I get the stand up to the level that I expect him to be. Unless his performance radically improves, Ruel's future hangs in the balance. But one of Chef's other protégés is hoping that the scales will tip his way. Hello. How are you? Just right down there. Now most of the passengers have disembarked. Um, have fun. Enjoy. It's the perfect opportunity for some staff training on front desk. Good morning, Miss Emma. How are you feeling after yesterday? Confident. Galley assistant Nico has been given three trial shifts to see if he's got what it takes to handle this stressful job. A lot of people think it's easy to work on the front desk. This is the main central part of the ship, like the hub. So um, everything goes through here. We have to know as much as we can about everything and all of the complaints come through us so he'll have tons to learn today he's back for his second shift so we're gonna ha start having you answer phones and stuff are you okay with that the phone lines bring all manner of requests good morning passenger service desk this is nico Estrera. how can i help you and nico needs to be the font of all knowledge when it comes to the cruise itinerary okay wait a second madam do you know what's the name of the beach? The one is called yeah. the beach. Yeah, Booty beach. beach. That would be nice. <laughs> Babuti. 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 Babuti beach. <laughs> Wait a second, madam. <laughs> Babuti. Uh, it's B A B O U T I. Babuti beach, madam. Welcome, madam. Enjoy. Perfect. Ah, Babati. Babati. <laughs> Timothy seems to be enjoying having Nico around. You have, like, a better laugh than me. Yeah. No, people always recognize me for my laugh. They can hear me up, like, on deck seven or eight. Yeah. But you, um... <laughs> you're really good. <laughs> you just make me laugh, Nico. <laughs> so, time for me to go back to the kitchen. Okay. We'll see you soon. Keeping your colleagues amused is one thing. But if Nico is going to make the grade, he will have to impress them a lot more next shift. Oh, dear. There's one man on board who's certainly not impressed today. Jesus. How the hell's that happened? Hotel services engineer Scott has been called to investigate a worrying leak from one of the fountains in the main passenger thoroughfare, the piazza. It's the epicenter of the ship. Everybody comes here for a relaxing coffee or a pastry to read a book. Yeah, just for your safety, if you could walk around. Even when the piazza is quiet, uh, a wet marble floor poses a serious risk. I'll just assist you there, because the floor is wet. Just make sure you don't slip. Thank you That's very fine, much. no problem, madam. Hi, it's the HSC. Um, we've had a bit of a leak here, a uh, flood from the Piazza Fountain. Can you send a few guys up with the suction, suction machines? Yeah, at, at, at the rush, mate, please. The Piazza has to be back in action to host the nightly entertainment. <sighs> Disaster. For Scott, it's a race against the clock. He needs to find the source of the leak before passengers return in their droves.
Bridge officer Lauren is facing many new challenges. Oh, where is it? If she's going to take the helm of Royal Princess, she has to familiarize herself with every inch of the ship. Today, it's the tender boats. This is the first one I'm going to launch by myself. I really hope I get it right. I mean, there's a multitude of things that could go wrong with this. I mean, if one of these wires was to part, it's going to have fairly catastrophic consequences for the lifeboat. Oh, already? Push it. If there is an accident, you are dealing with someone's life inside that boat. And there are seven, eight decks up here. That's a long way to fall. OK, lowering into the water. There are five tender boats on board the ship that have to be ready to transport passengers to shore. Here we go. Lauren has notched up another success, but with a ship as vast as Royal Princess, she still has a lot to learn before she takes charge in just over a week. Set up the blender and also a container to pour the soup into. Chef David McDonald is already at the top of his profession and has a Michelin star to prove it. Why would you not love being the most important guy on the ship besides the captain? In actual fact, more important than the captain. Because the captain ain't going to feed you, is he? He's just going to take you to the port. He runs the largest and one of the busiest departments on board, providing food for 12 cafes and restaurants. 4,100 passengers at the moment Plus 1,100 crew members, it's breakfast, lunch, dinner. So it's almost 20,000 meals a day that we are responsible for here. But today, Chef David has more urgent issues to deal with. Can you switch uh, running water off, please? Unbelievable. Morning. Morning. Following complaints about afternoon tea and a dressing down for the pastry team, Chef David has come up with a plan to give section head Ruel the chance to redeem himself. Ruel, how are you? OK, listen to me. I've got a challenge for you. I want you to create me three desserts, something from Ruel. Your initiative, I want flavour that's going to explode. It's got to be a wow factor. So let's go upstairs and sit upstairs for five minutes. Got some good ideas for you. I really think that he has got it but he needs to be motivated a little bit. I don't want you to sit in the comfort zone and say, oh, no, this is what I know. Go above and beyond. I can't say you're useless, go. You know, then I'm a failure at my own job. Let me take you out there and say, this is the man responsible for your dessert. It's a challenge for me. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. OK, look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye. Chef has thrown down the gauntlet. Now it's over to Ruel to come up with a creation that will save his reputation. There is another uh, flexible pipe. Yeah, but where's that going then? In the piazza, Scott has had to pull the plug on the water feature. It's, it's, you can't, you can't get in. This is what I'm saying. Have you got the flashlight? But now there's another problem. You, you follow this pipe, the green one. Yeah. It gets there. The drainage pipe has become kinked, so the water has nowhere to go other than to overflow, and there's no easy way to access it. Perhaps we could uh, open an access here. This one, it wouldn't be difficult. Can we do it before departure? Do you think we're able to open it? To make a cut now? Yeah. There'll be a lot of dust, but it's good now that it's quiet. The passengers may be on holiday, but there's no rest for Scott. The piazza hosts live entertainment every day, and formal night is just around the corner. Come into my wee tent. <laughs> when they do these ships, they don't design them from a technical point of view. It's, it's all made to look nice. But when something does go wrong, you have to go to these lengths to fix it. Absolute nightmare. This is the one. By evening, the piazza is the ship's busiest area, and it can't be left a dusty, noisy eyesore. It needs fixing and fast. Pain in the ass, all that work for a kinked pipe. The fountain is ready to be put back to its former glory now that Scott has fixed the faulty pipe.
But Nico will have to make sure he doesn't make any mistakes this shift if he's going to get his dream job. The keys break sometimes so people can't get into their rooms. So you'll find that they'll come to the desk a lot and they will ask for a new key. Every week, 1,200 key cards are reissued by passenger services. It's gone through the name. Sorry, ma'am, I'm going to get you a new So it's important that Nico doesn't make any mistakes when he reissues them. Hi, how are you this morning? I'm fine, thank you, but I must confess I've lost yet another key. Ah. <laughs> it's yes. okay. What are you doing? You're just throwing them away? No, I leave them in the slot machines when I lose. I will grab it. Are you enjoying your cruise? Very much so, yes. He's got it all sorted for Here's you. Thank you, Nick. Welcome, That's madame. Nice. That'll be the last one. Yeah, oh, I doubt it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Oh, she's so cute. Next, please. Oh, no. And <laughs> then. Is this not you? A photo. Oh, no, I'm not a man. I've got a man's name, but I'm not a man. This is awkward. <laughs> when I print it out, it came. He's a man. <laughs> Nico's really funny. But he has no filter. Like, <laughs> I'm kind of worried with passengers. I think we might run into some problems. <laughs> thank you, Sir Timothy. Nice meeting you, and thank you, Miss Emma. Bye. So it's back to the galley and the day job for Nico. And he has a nail biting wait until he finds out whether his quest for a new job has been successful. I'm ready for you, huh? Come up to the office, boss. In the galley, it's judgment day for Ruel, who is about to present his desserts to Chef. Come inside. He knows this is his big chance to save his career. Oh, I like that. Where's the others? OK. Actually, I'm, I, actually, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with what you've produced here. First, first and foremost, well, you've got a coconut mousse here, honeycomb, Florentine square. That's excellent. This one over here, the idea is great. That's very, very good, huh? I like that, and I like that style as well. Here you have brown cheesecake. I mean, the sugar works great. So are we going to eat them, or are you just going to look at them? Mmm, lovely. Wow, it's nice. I'm taken aback, actually, because I didn't expect you to come up with such good desserts. Now, just do something about the scones, the scones, please. Don't, don't keep sending me uh, hockey pucks for scones. They need to be like that, OK? Well, I'm very happy with that, Real. Uh, job well done, mate. Job well done. Absolutely. It really puts my mind at ease, and I do believe that we can work together and come up with something fantastic, which will give the guests a wow. You know, it, it, it will be a wow factor on the day, and that's what I want. Probably fall asleep at some stage. If I start snoring, don't panic. OK. After a hard day's sunbathing, Rob Jupp has come to the ship's spa for a little more relaxation. You're in a, a real five-star luxury bubble here, really. The spa fills over 500 appointments each week, offering a range of pampering treats for the weary traveller. It's not all about the luxury that this world gives us. It's, it's almost like a little bit like a, an adult Disney world where there's, there's everything really you'd want. We don't take a moment of this world for, for granted and we appreciate every, every last inch of it. Down in the galley, Nico is in a spin. I've started to have a palpitation. He's about to find out whether he's being offered his dream job on front desk. And it falls to his boss to deliver the news. Dear Nico, based on the requirements for this position, we... Oh. Yes. We regret to inform you that you were not selected. Oh, I'm so sorry. You must take the good out of it as well. And the good is that you're already climbing the ladder. In the front desk, 
you're already starting at the bottom of everything and it's going to take years before you progress any further than that. And one thing I'm happy about is that you stay in my department. So I can turn the negativeness to positiveness. Life is too short to be sad. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. we have done it. Very good. It's a special night for Claire and Rob. Good. It's pretty good. Handsome. They're celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary. Right, I just think a bit more spray. It's also a big night for their sons, James and Henry. Are you ready to pour that champagne into that glass? Just don't fall into them. Who'll be joining in a ship tradition for the very first time. How many, how many glasses in the, in the pyramid tonight? Tonight's showstopper is the champagne waterfall. It's a landmark occasion on board and has been a cruising tradition for many years. It started life on the long North Atlantic crossings, but sometimes ended in disaster due to choppy seas. Thankfully, the passengers on board Royal Princess are being treated to kinder weather. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. There's always something new. We've never done that with the boys before, so it was a real, it was a wow moment. <laughs> you can never get bored of these moments, can you? Next time, the ship's heading to Montenegro. But Chef is facing a crisis. So we have no replacement, no replacement, no replacement. I can't sit here and say, you know what, it's not my problem. Lauren has her biggest challenge yet as she attempts to drive the ship's tender boats. I literally haven't driven a tender in, like, I can't remember. And the onboard magicians have a new illusion up their sleeve. Nope, this ain't gonna work. Right, Johnny, can you let me out? Because I'm having a hard time breathing now. <laughs>